peace talks with the Afghan Taliban. It appears the U.S. is going ahead with a meeting, but the Afghan president has been angry that the Taliban presented themselves as a government in exile. And so far, his government is staying away, but that may change. The Taliban's official flag no longer hangs over its new offices in Doha. Instead, it appears to be partially hidden behind the guarded wall, which is now covered with holes. After the sign that hung there threatened to derail the Afghanistan peace talks before they even started. It was just Tuesday when the sign went up, and with it the ire of the Afghan government. It read the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, what the Taliban called the country when it was in charge. At the UN on Thursday, officials still expressing outrage. Raising the Taliban flag on Tuesday in Doha was just a reminder of a dark and bloody past from which our country still struggles emerge. The symbolism prompted the president of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, to pull out of future talks with the Taliban and also with the United States. But the Afghan government says if agreed conditions are met, it may be willing to reconsider talks. U.S. officials sound more upbeat. We uh, anticipate uh, these talks happening in the coming days. I don't have anything specific beyond that. The State Department expects the first thing Taliban officials will want is to negotiate the release of five of their commanders being held in Guantanamo Bay. Five men the U.S. has said they won't try but are too dangerous to release. The exchange would be for the release of Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. The two sides tried to negotiate the deal before unsuccessfully. Stephen Simon, a former top aide to President Barack Obama, is doubtful it will work this time. I don't think Karzai is very enthusiastic, and unless you know he's really on board, uh, you can't really get anything going. I think the conditions uh, for the U.S. and Taliban to get it on, especially if those conditions hinge on this prisoner exchange, I think that's also a long shot. Publicly, U.S. officials say they agree. But they believe the only way to find a long-term solution is by talking, not fighting. It now appears they'll do both in the weeks and maybe months ahead. Uh, now, as far as the Afghan government are concerned, they say they have no plans to come to Doha at the moment. Uh, and frankly, I think their position is a little more entrenched than it was 24 hours ago when another of the negotiators told us that they realized that ultimately you have to talk to the Taliban if you are to get any kind of a peace process going. Bottom line in all of this is that the Taliban uh, are looking pretty strong at the negotiating table. They've already upset the apple cart. They're powerful enough to do that. But I don't rule out peace talks getting underway at some point within the next 48 hours. Diplomacy changing very quickly and certainly the US Secretary of State John Kerry arriving here will cement all of that. The phone lines will be red hot uh, to try to get those talks off the ground within the next few days.